Hey, good morning. Uh, so welcome back to the session three where we will be covering uh, more on to the user training of Salesforce. Earlier in this session one, we covered leads, then we moved to accounts, which is nothing uh, but your customers with whom you are doing some sort of business. Then account would have other record types, which is contact and opportunity. So opportunities majorly um, you know, the business opportunities where you will be selling your products slash services to your customers. So in today's session, we'll be covering more on contacts and opportunities. So I'll just go just show you a quick, uh, you know, overview of leads. This is how your leads will look like. You can have different views of your leads. Then once a lead gets qualified and uh, where the customer or a prospect would get engaged with you for a business, it gets converted into a business. So here the leads will have different stages and each stage will get after covering through the stage of appointment when you would be, I mean, when, when you are qualifying a lead after qualification and get converted into an account, a contact and an opportunity. Now, um, this is one of your account. So if I go to any of the account like Allied Technologies, it will have the 360 degree view of the account. You would be able to see the complete account details. In accounts, you will have definitely, you know, all the details in terms of your account team, your contacts, then your opportunities, which we'll be covering today, then cases, assets, and everything. We will be today covering on majorly on contacts and opportunities. So let me just tell you, you know, uh, what is contact under a account? Account is a customer, which is a B2B customer. There can be two types of accounts. It can be a B2C, it can be B2B as well. So when I'm working with a B2B customer, where business to business, B2B means business to business, then in one of the company with whom I'm trying to do some business, there might be many contacts. When I'm saying there might be many contacts, which means they're examples. So there are six contacts which are listed over here. Somebody is having a title of senior VP. Somebody is from the services team. There's a marketing person also. There is from operations. There is a product manager, uh, project management team, uh, VP. And there is also somebody from the finance. Now, Looking at the activity indicator, what do you see? You see here that there is the person is actually talking to Addy Lipson more because the activity indicator is very strong five stars here. So when you see all the grayed out star means which means that we are not doing uh, you know much of the business with Frederica. However, we are doing much of the business with Addy Lipson, which I mean, so it's an activity indicator. So your sales guy. So if I have, to, if I'm the sales head and I need to check um, all my sales team who are going and meeting with these customers in this cust in this company, Ally Technologies, with whom they are meeting a lot, are they meeting with Peter or are they meeting with Addy Lipson or Patricka? By looking at the activity indicator, it's very clearly, you know showcasing that, oh yes, my sales team is meeting with Eddie more, so they will be more comfortable with Eddie Lipson. So when I click on Eddie Lipson, I can see all her details in terms of her department, her account name, reports to, and then the phone number, the mobile number, and also the email and the activity which has not been done since how many days there is no activity, and there is a mailing address also. So this is all about the contact. So you can have n number of contacts under an account. If I go back to this account again, Ally Technologies, I can show you that there can be n number of contacts there. So right now there can be six contacts. Now coming to what is opportunity. Now, as soon as the lead gets converted into an account, contact and opportunity, opportunity is nothing but a business, what you're doing to do with customer. So whatever you're going to sell in a company is 
uh, is kind of an opportunity. And an opportunity is nothing but a sales cycle, basically. So if I'll click on any of the opportunity, like Allied Technologies, so business is new business and is for $9,000. So there are different stages which we have to pass through in, uh, you know, when we are trying to sell it to the customer. The first is a discussion stage. Second is a need analysis. Third is the proposal stage. Fourth is negotiation and then closed. So if I look at the sales path, there, there is a sales path where, you know, all these opportunity, uh, this, uh, all these stages, a person has to walk through the, you know, so that he would be able to make it a closed one. Now, every stage has different meaning here that initially, you know, when I'm talking with the customer, I have been discussion stage, then I'll find there is a need or not, whether my, um, you know, product slash services would be a right fit or not, then I need to send a proposal to them. Thereafter, a negotiation might happen on the proposal, which I might have sent to the customer, and then a closed one or a closed last. Now, at every stage, there will be certain activities which a sales guy or the services guy or a product guy or the operations guys will be doing with the customer. All those things will be under the activity indicator. Then I'm going into the details. So there are certain details we need, which we need to capture under an opportunity example, the amount of that opportunity, $9,000, but it is a tentative amount or expected amount. It can be $9,001 or is, it can be 9050 9050 like any amount depending on the product and service which we are trying to sell them there is a description there is a next steps defined there is also probability of 20 percent now how this probability comes in as a sales guy you know if i'm on a qualification stage my probability is 20 percent if i change the stage from um, you know uh, it to proposal stage it becomes 75 percent after that, I'll made it to negotiation. It became 90%. Thereafter, I'd say, okay, it's closed one. And it got to be 100%, okay? So there are different stages, which I, you know, which I might, which I will have in this opportunity. I was on here, I'm sorry, okay. And also there is another section which we have created, you know, for this opportunity, whether the project is defined or not, they, they have the budgeted product. So who is the competitor here? And have I done a ROI analysis for this, com, uh, you know, complete ROI analysis, whether whatever the sell uh, products or services, which I'm trying to sell it to them, what is the return of investment this customer will get throughout it? Then contract terms are there, implementation start time also. And if in case by mistake, I might lose this opportunity, you know, the customer might not, uh, you know, buy from me, then obviously I'll have to make it close last and the probability is 0%. And if I make it close last, then there is an important point that, you know, I need to write who's a winning competitor here, you know, whether it's competitor A, B or C, and what is the reason for losing this opportunity? Is that at my price of the product, it's got my product issues or it could be relationship with the customer or anything else? Let us suppose that we are on a stage for proposal. Now, initially, so I just start this opportunity one more time for you so that I can run you through into the state different stages. So I'm on LI Technologies. Here I'm on discussion stage is covered, need analysis is covered, and I am on proposal stage now. So when I'm on a proposal stage, I need to add my products into the opportunity. I can see there are already two products being added. If you want, I can delete them and I can, you know, I can add these products one more time. So I'm deleting the products and I will, thereafter I will add and show it to you how you would be able to add products very clearly. So this opportunity, I'm on proposal stage. I need to create a quotation for the customer. So I'll add my products here. So let us suppose I am trying to give them these are my two products for which I need to send a quotation to the customer. I can write how many exhaust fan the customer is looking for and how many tricycles, let us suppose 10. And I can just save this. Now, as soon as I save this, my products have been added. Once my product is added over here, you will be able to see the pictures also for your products. 
Now I'm going to the quotation stage and I need to create a quotation, a new quotation here for the product which I have added here. So I click on new quote. I'll go for quote name. This is for Allied Technologies quote one, two, three or exhaust fan. What is expiration date? Let's suppose after a month, this quote will get expired. Okay, is there any particular contract which I need to add over here? Any sort of discount I need to give it to them? Shipping and handling charges will be automatically coming in. Address and everything will be automatically coming in. I'm just saving it. That's my job. So as soon as I'll be able to add my quotation here, I'll just go to this quotation. Oh, I'm sorry. So I'm just going back to this opportunity. I'm going to my quotation part. Yes. So my quotation is here. I click over here and I can see my quotation. I can see the quote line item. Now my quotation will also go through these stages because there could be a need. My manager might, might need a review. Then I submit it for the approval. It will get approved by uh, my manager or my manager can reject it. Then I present to the customer. Then my customer will accept it or deny it. Okay. So let us suppose it is approved. Once it is approved, my total is already coming in here. What I'll do, I just create a PDF here. I click on PDF. And my Quotation is ready. Now I, my quotation is ready. I need to send this quotation to my customer from here itself. So I'll click on email code. I'll select any of the template which might be there in my Salesforce already is let us suppose Coleo email template. So as soon as I select it, I have the complete complete template ready and my attachment is also ready and I can send it to my customer from here. Because there is no recipient being added. I need to add a recipient here also. Let us suppose. So it's coming here and I can send it to the customer. So all my activities will get tagged over here. Now I'm going back to my opportunity. Now the customer, I have sent a quotation to the customer. My quotation is here. Yes, this is what I sent to my customer. Now I go to the negotiation stage and I mark it garbage. Okay. After that, let us suppose a customer has negotiated with me or there's something else which we have done, something free we might have given to the customer on special terms, it has been approved. And after that, I will make it closed one. This is how my opportunity is closed one. This is how I'm my whole sales cycle will pop through different stages of my, um, you know, of the sales process. Basically, these stages are not fixed in Salesforce. Anything or everything in Salesforce can be customized. So you need to understand that, you know, all these stages example, these are the stages which are here. So can be customized as per your business process. And here example, one more thing, very important. If in case I'm making this stage as closed loss, let us suppose by uh, God forbid, if in case, you know, uh, my opportunity didn't fly and get closed, lost, then I need to find a, I need to actually define a reason why the reason, what is the reason for losing this opportunity? Is it a price product issue or relationship? Also, who's a winning competitor here? Is it a A, B, R, C? Who's a winning competitor? And this is how, you know, I would be able to complete my sales cycle within my company. So opportunity is the very important stage of Salesforce because all offers as the salesperson has to have these opportunity at different stages. If I'll go to all opportunities. I can see all my opportunities here and I can show you Kanban view.
so this is the kanban view of my salesforce opportunities where i will have a lot of opportunities here oh sorry i have a lot of opportunities here in different stages let us suppose this this is one of the opportunity discussion stage and i move it from discussion stage to need analysis my value changes over here if i can move it back okay now if in case let us suppose this opportunity has moved to negotiation i simply move it to negotiation i can simply move it to negotiation you can see the changes you know the changes are happening in the dollars here and if it gets something get closed what well, the value got changes so this this is nothing but you know um, we we call it a basically you know opportunity kanban view where i can have different kind of opportunities my partner opportunities my commercial segment my simple opportunity short short solution opportunity there can be different different way you know an opportunity could be and this is how you know i can have this major major all views if in case i need to have some you know charts around it so i can change the uh, i can see all my 46 million of pipeline here but i do not want to see it in you know here in this so i want to see in a vertical bars how many opportunities do i have in a discussion stage how many opportunities do you have in a quotation stage then how many been closed one negotiation qualifications and if in case i want to do uh, you know horizontal chart i can have the horizontal chart also so it's all about the stages i can also define it by pipeline by account or by fiscal period like this is all by fiscal period 17 2000 like in which quarter of each you know i would be able to see it there's some okay okay this is one more view which has been added we call it a split view so there you know on on here you know you will be able to see all the opportunity so any opportunity you click on you, you will be able to write and see you can see the view of that opportunity so that's the major about the opportunity uh, you know uh, now since we have covered the complete sales cloud from lead to account and accounts to contact and opportunities once an opportunity get closed obviously company the project will get started so thereafter we will start working on to the projects once the pre sales or the sales will get closed then the post sales will happen the post sales is majorly about the projects so there will be a projects which we will get started uh, you know in our next session session 4 will be majorly focusing on to the you know the close part of the uh, sales cycle either uh, we will be covering you know either the projects or the reports and dashboards in our session 4 thank you very much